What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, then simply welcome to the channel. I am the Drip Enthusiast and today I have a few pickups for you as well as like a sort of a life update, I guess. I don't do that often on my videos, but hey, you can tell by the title of the video exactly what happened. So yes, unfortunately I did get robbed. Uh, unfortunately, someone broke into my car and stole one of the pickups that was supposed to be in the video. I will go ahead and put that somewhere up here, or maybe do like a cutaway of that item uh, that I actually shot B-roll for before when I was going to do that whole video with those two pickups in it. Unfortunately, I mean, I still have pickups, but I just don't have, you know, one of the original items. They uh, charge it to the game, you know what I'm saying? So. Hey, that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's a setback, I'll have to come right back, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. However, I do have pickups for you guys still. So, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get to those pickups because I don't want the video to be like somber or anything. However, you know, at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and elaborate on the details of that, that, that mugging, or not really a mugging, more just like they robbed me when I was sleeping and they broke into my car. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some shit ready in the background. Should start showing you guys these pickups, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so the first pickup is honestly something that I got for free. And that's the best type of pickup because it is free and I did not spend a dollar on it. For this piece, I wanna go ahead and thank my boy Putu. He gifted it to me because unfortunately it didn't fit into his wardrobe. However, I felt like it would be a welcome addition to my wardrobe. Because he sent it over to me and made the pickups video just in time, I wore it a couple times and honestly, I like it. His gripe with it was that it was a little too long and it didn't really fit into his wardrobe. Um, that's cool, everyone has a different style evolution. Everyone has a different path they wanna go on. I think that maybe my wardrobe's a little bit more experimental, a little bit more out there than his. He's more of a guy who takes like minimalism into account with his clothing. I do as well, but I think he likes kind of like a clean cut look. He's really into that I made Leon Dor look. Uh, I think he has some pretty cool pieces myself. If you do want to follow him on Instagram, I will go ahead and put that into the description. Put my boy on a little bit. And if you see on his page, I don't know if he has it up still, but he used to have this photography page where he just shoots pretty much all the film. If you guys like that, then definitely check that out. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put my boy on. So spam his page, like all that, you know, cool shit. But yeah, it was generous enough to give this to me. And no, it is not a Maison Margiela piece. I do not expect people to give that away. I would never give Margiela away for the free ski, at least. This is a Carhartt piece. It's actually faded. I think the only, yeah, this is the only tag that hasn't faded off. Just this woven Carhartt logo. I'll put some B-roll up on the screen of me wearing this particular item. So overall, it's a pretty simple piece. However, I do have a few details I do wanna go over with you guys that particularly interest me. One detail is the mother of pearl buttons that they added onto this piece, uh, just like snap buttons instead of that traditional button. I think that's a pretty cool touch and I also think that for your money, Carhartt is probably the best brand uh, utility wise. I feel like they'll hold up more the pieces from Carhartt that is. I feel like since it is a workwear brand, ultimately the pieces are more hardy and ready to be beaten in a little bit. You see with the current trend right now, vintage and like older workwear pieces are kind of coming into style. And they kind of have been on that trajectory for like four or five years or whatever at this point. But yeah, this is a pretty cool piece, not even just because it's free, uh, just because I think the Western style shirt is something I was trying to get into. I don't think I really found anything that can fit necessarily to my wardrobe and fit my body. I have a Saint Laurent shirt that's similar to that from the Eddie Samant era. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a welcome addition. I'm not really sure how old it is. I'm not an expert on dating Carhartt or anything like that or vintage in general. I suspect it's not, you know, 80s or whatever. I think probably anywhere from the 2000s up, honestly. 
I have a Ralph Simmons shirt actually that looks similar to this. But it is an oversized carryover shirt, or at least that's what it's called, an oversized carryover shirt. And it kind of gives me the same vibe. This is something I will wear when I don't necessarily want to wear a Ralph Simmons piece out. Maybe I'm, I'm scared it'll get dirty, I don't know. But sometimes you just don't be feeling that vibe. Maybe you want to be really low key. I would say I'll throw something like this on in the same type of fit. I'll put some B-roll up on the screen of me wearing both of these pieces and I'll show you what I mean exactly. But yeah, there's like a whole vibe I guess you wanna go for when you're wearing certain pieces. And maybe this is just my vibe sometimes, honestly. So this next piece is kind of out of character for me. Uh, anyone who knows me and pays attention to my style knows that I don't really wear fitteds, honestly. And I didn't really get like a hype fitted. Like most people like the New York ones and especially ones with the gray brim on the, on the bottom. I don't know what the significance of this is. However, I do like the gray brim more than the green or any other color brims, honestly. I feel like any other color but gray kind of looks weird. So yeah, I came up on these for the free ski too, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm getting blessed, honestly. Yeah, so I came up on these for the free just the new era 5950 7 and 1 fourth, you know 7 and 1 fourths. i don't know if that's considered a big head or not uh, i don't know i think it's pretty average to be honest but yeah i don't really wear fitted caps however i accepted this one because it is i think this is the marlins logo when i was a kid i played on a, a little baseball team for rec uh like i was like elementary school age and the team was the Marlins that's one of the two teams I played on as a kid so I thought this was like a good bit of nostalgia to get this baseball cap because I did grow up playing baseball and I actually had a pretty good time you know once I was forced to get in there and do it I was like oh you know actually I'm, I'm fucking with it I like the games I like the uh, camaraderie and all that stuff so this was a good this was a good memory honestly it started off my sports career I ended up doing athletics and sports up until I got out of high school honestly and then I joined the military so didn't really have time for that to be quite honest I don't see myself getting too many more fitted hats if I see one or two over time that I like like something that's specific or personal to me like this one maybe I will consider picking that up All right, so for the last pickup, I feel like this is more me. This is more like stuff I would normally put on this channel. Let me zip this up actually, hold on. All right, so I got this ridiculously oversized Rick Owens Converse book bag, backpack, whatever you wanna call it. I think it definitely makes sense that this bag is big only because Rick Owens. If you didn't know what the fuck this was, you would think probably why in the fuck is this guy wearing a huge fucking black book bag with a pentagram on it. No real reason to be honest. However, I did like this collaboration. Some of you guys got the shoes. Uh, I felt like I had the Ramones already, so there, re there wasn't really a reason to get the Converse. However, I'm eyeing a pair. I may end up getting some, uh, but yeah. The Ramones kind of did the, the job of a Rick Owens Converse to me, so I didn't feel like super infatuated with getting the actual collab. Kind of came full circle with that one, didn't they? But yeah, some of the things I like about this bag, obviously it's avant-garde because it's so big and oversized. It's just something you wouldn't expect. However, it's made of pretty nice materials, not necessarily uh, Rick Owens level materials, but also not necessarily the material that you would expect Converse to be made out of. Out of. Uh, I think this is a dark shadow collab because of the star on it. And usually that's the motif that they go with for the dark shadow stuff. However, um, honestly, I'm gonna scratch that. However, I'm pretty sure it's dark shadow. I'm pretty sure it's dark shadow collab. But yeah, they came out with a lot of stuff with this. Uh, hats and shoes all that shit. I think all that was dark shadow too. So I think I'm pretty safe in assuming that this is a dark shadow collab But yeah for the price of 200 honestly, I think this was actually a pretty solid bag to get for 200 Like I said, it is hardy. I think the Straps and the like poles right here 
are a little bit tougher and a little bit more resilient than like a 20, 40, 60 to $80 Converse bag that you may get in the mall or something like that. Uh, of course, it's oversized and built huge to complement that avant-garde aesthetic where Goins usually goes for. And then the imagery and the little, you know, upside down or inverted pentagrams, which is the only imagery, honestly, besides the Converse logo. But yeah, all that imagery for the Rick Owens Converse collab makes sense. Uh, it's not doing too much. You know, the Rick Owens logo isn't huge. However, the Converse logo is huge. But on top of that, the bag itself is huge. So it kind of just makes sense. I don't know. I just said all that to say that it pretty much looks aesthetically pleasing because normally I wouldn't be down for uh, big logos like that really anymore. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of growing out of that. This, uh, it worked. Honestly, you could have no logos and they could have did something diff different with the materials and I think it would have hit just as hard. However, like I said, it's fine. You see little cool tabs like the little Converse tab like right here. I think there's a couple on the inside, but I mean, it's not super interesting enough for me to like put on here. Uh, but yeah, like little things like that, that kind of remind you of a normal Converse bag, but they're super sized. I thought it was a fun take. Even if I don't use it, I'll end up looking at it a lot in my room. I think that's a cool addition just to have for decoration. But on the practical side, I did need a bag to go out of town with, and I can easily fit, let's say, four or five, maybe six outfits in here, and maybe a couple pair of shoes. And then in the top, I can fit toiletries. This is kind of like a suitcase, honestly. I feel like I have as much space in the suitcase in this little bag, not this little bag, this huge bag um, than I have in an actual suitcase. And to add on to that, it's actually lighter than a suitcase. So yeah, that's, I mean, just all perks, all perks, bro. So yeah, all, the, all these like components of it, I think are pretty much made of the same thing. I read the tag on the inside and it turns out to be like a nylon. I think there's some other material mixed in there, but for the most part, oh, excuse me, not nylon, polyester. For the most part, it's a polyester bag. I'm not really too mad at that. Uh, it's not like the craziest pickup for Rick Owens. Uh, however, I thought it was interesting. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can, but they have the dark shadow stars on the zippers. And then I think it says Converse at the bottom too. It's all, is it emboss? It's deboss, deboss metal. Like I said, different material that you would see on a regular Converse bag. On the inside, just a little Converse logo right here. Hopefully you can see it. And then they went with that same gray, kind of like greenish color that they did with the logo. And I'm glad they did that. They kept everything pretty simple. Just with like any book bag, you're gonna get kind of the same components, like this little backpack area that's probably for like a laptop or something. That's been a while since I used a backpack, to be quite honest. but. Yeah, I think there's like a laptop or whatever compartment in there. And then there's two pockets on the front. They both have zippers. I'm actually carrying my shit in this right now because I don't have a wallet anymore. Anyway, but yeah, and then there's two water bottle. Or actually, you can probably put anything. I'll put AirPods in here. I don't know. This is kind of like my bag right now because uh, my other bag got stolen. And I don't really want to wear a tote bag all the time. I think this is just, you know, I don't know. Maybe I was wearing it because it's new. But yeah, two water bottle holders on the side. Uh, I would do like a more in-depth look into this bag. But to be honest, there's not too much. It's just something cool to look at. Um, but yeah, it has its practical uses. With all that being said, that is the end of my pickups. That's the last thing. Or, well, it is now since I got robbed. But yeah, let me actually elaborate on that in case you guys want to know. I'm gonna put this bag up, hold on. So in case you guys want to know what happened was, uh, I grabbed my bag. I actually have a clothing brand on the side and I was delivering the bag to, excuse me, I was delivering the hoodie that I sold to somebody, to a customer. Uh, fortunately this time, you know, I didn't have to ship it because this was actually a local purchase. It was still in Georgia. It was actually in the same city. So I actually just took that address and I drove to the individual's house and I dropped it off. It was pretty late at night, however. I think it was like 11, maybe 12. And I 
think when I got home, it was probably 1231, something like that. So it was late. I think that in all, I wasn't really in my right mind because I was kind of tired and I left the bag in there and I swear to God, I locked my car door. I always do because I'm from Atlanta and motherfuckers are still, anyone who has a car in the city knows that motherfuckers steal. I've seen cars sitting on center blocks and stuff like that. Like they'll take the wheels off that motherfucker. I, mean, I don't know what you can do against something like that, to be honest, like locking your door won't do shit. But we do what we can. I swear I locked my door, but to be honest, if you leave any type of crack in your window or anything like that, just without noticing, someone could definitely, you know, stick a hanger in there, unlock your door, and then all your shit's gone. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have anything like crazy, like irreplaceable in there. I didn't have my social security card or anything like that in there. Uh, that's another tip someone told me a while ago. Don't put your social security in your wallet. That turned out to be a good tip. This is the first time I've ever had my wallet stolen, but this is not my first time you know, going around the block, so to speak. I've been robbed before, you know, I've grew up, grown up in, uh, you know, some similar situations as a child, uh, you know, whatever, bad neighbors, whatever. So it's not like my first rodeo or anything like that, but it definitely sucks to be robbed. It definitely sucks to uh, spend money on stuff and work hard. And I definitely am a person who works for my stuff. My parents don't buy me any of this stuff, you know. I'm 25 now, but, you know, I've been doing this since, like, I was in high school, like, a teenager. So, my parents have never really splurged on, like, clothes and stuff like that. I always grew up with that mindset, like, that we had to always save, save, save. So, you know, getting my own money and being able to spend on things I want while still keeping my bills paid, uh, you know, it's just been a really liberating experience. And I think with any new experience, it gets to the point where it feels great, but at the end of the day, something can bring you back down to earth and like humble you. Uh, like maybe your health or maybe a situation like being robbed or something like that. Just understand that anything that you have can and will get taken from you at some point. And it's up to you to kind of build that back up, you know, with the exception of a few things maybe. But the point is, yeah, just everything you have is, is temporary. Uh, anything that you get can be taken away. And it's all material until it's not, until it's your life. And that even that can be taken away. So nothing is here forever. Nothing's permanent. Uh, just enjoy what you have and be thankful you know I'm thankful <laughs> I'm thankful that I was not robbed at a gunpoint or anything like that you know you tell yourself that you'll be prepared you tell yourself that you, you can do all this xyz you know I've been doing martial arts for a while and I haven't done it since the pandemic to be honest I, I'm like probably two years rusty I haven't done any martial arts since the pandemic kind of kicked off uh just trying to be safe I'm not really sparring with people and stuff like that uh even though I was hospitalized with COVID, but anyway, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't want to make my chances any greater. However, uh, you know, I feel like I, you know, I'm the type of person that can defend myself. I'm in the military. I'm very familiar with weapons and guns, stuff like that. All that being said, I'm not trying to brag. I'm really just telling you that even with all that training, uh, you know, the plan kind of goes out the window when you're faced with like a on the spot situation. So. Uh, you know, if you do get robbed at gunpoint or whatever, don't try to be a hero. Definitely let that shit play out. Uh, only use that type of self-defense as a laugh. Uh, only use that type of self-defense like fighting or trying to snatch a gun from someone when it's like your absolute last resort. If they have a weapon, let them have it. Nothing is worth your life because you can beat their ass, but all it takes for them to do one hard swipe with a knife or a poke and you're done or you're fucked up for like some amount of time, maybe your life, or they can pull that trigger and shoot you in your leg and you bleed to death, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, yeah, I, that's a little crazy. I don't wanna get too serious, but all I'm saying is shit can go from like point A to B real quick. Just be safe out there, you guys, because people are out here who don't respect uh, people who work hard for their stuff and they don't respect people as individuals. You know, me, myself, I would never rob somebody, but that doesn't mean that Joe Schmo down the road or next door won't do it. Just stay safe in general, guys, honestly. But yeah, that's all I want to say. I don't really want to, you know, drag on about that too long. 
I charge into the game. I'm finna get a new wallet. I'm finna come up. So yeah, I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Like and comment as well. That does help out the channel a lot. If you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely let me know in the comment section. You know, kill that like button. Fucking smack the shit out of it. I don't know. Do what you want, <laughs> but it does help. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I want to remain super humble and just say that if you are watching, even if I only get like a hundred, you know, views on this, I, I appreciate every last one of you, especially if you watch till the end. Matter of fact, if you watch till the end, uh, go ahead and comment on the video. Just say, hey, I made it to the end or something like that. Or you don't have to, but if you feel so inclined, go ahead and do that. I just want to see what my metrics are like in real time. But yeah, that's it. I'm out, guys. Uh, I want to be more consistent with these videos. So I want to say not goodbye, but see you soon.